Hey y'all, let's talk about snacks. So many people ask me what are my favorite vegan snacks and which ones I recommend, especially if you are trying to eat a whole foods vegan diet. So unprocessed, not a lot of sugar, healthy, nutritious, all those things. In this video, I'm gonna share with you just my favorite ones that I eat on a daily, daily basis. I don't feel like I'm missing anything by eating these snacks that are nutritious and are wholesome and all that good stuff. I think they're just as good as processed things because it is true, your taste buds adjust. So if you're eating clean, wholesome snacks all the time, that's what your body is going to want. If you're eating processed things, you know, cookies and uh, processed crackers with refined uh, flour and sugar and all that stuff, then that's what your body's gonna want. This video is sponsored by Nature's Path. They make delicious granolas, breakfast cereals, hot cereals, all the good stuff that you want for breakfast, or in my case, especially for a snack. I love their products and I have for a super, super, super long time, so when they reached out to me to work together, I was like, oh my gosh, yes! Oh, and of course, mm, now this, I wouldn't say it's a snack, but for this video, I made myself a cup of tea because I really love to have my afternoon or my morning snack or even my late night snack slash dessert with a cup of tea. Right now, I'm having echinacea tea. If you're watching this video and you too are having tea, comment down below and let us know what you're drinking, dear. Okay, let's get started. First things first, I eat a lot of fruit. How about this bowl of fruit? Isn't it pretty? Oh yes. I know it looks fake, but this is actually 100% real. My favorite seasonal fruit right now. So every day, the first thing I eat when I get out of bed is a piece of fruit. So I'll have banana usually because it's just so easy to grab and eat. Or if I've got some ripe pears, I will have a pear grapes, persimmon, whatever, honestly, just like whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever my hand touches first. So here's my little tip. Buy the fruit that is in season. Now, how do you know it's in season? Because at the grocery store, you can get a watermelon in December, which is kind of crazy. But if you go to your local farmer's market, whatever they are selling is in season, especially to your specific region where you live. If you don't have a farmer's market, just look it up. Fruit is naturally sweet. It's also got a lot of fiber in it, so your body processes the sugar very differently than some refined carbohydrates, sugary snack. But it's also got a lot of antioxidants in it, very anti-inflammatory. It's got vitamins, all the nutrients that you should be putting into your body throughout the day which is why I recommend snacking on as much fruit as you can. My other favorite snack, this is actually Max's favorite snack, I think, but I love it too, and I have always loved it. Can you guess? Popcorn! I love popcorn so much. It is so easy to make in the microwave. I don't even do it on the stove top anymore because I have this really cool silicone popcorn microwave popper. So popcorn is really great because it is a wholesome food, lots and lots of fiber in it, great roughage. Now I highly recommend popping your own popcorn at home rather than buying the bags, which often have chemicals, and also way too much sodium. So pop it yourself and add your own toppings. My favorite toppings are coconut oil, nutritional yeast, and salt. Those three things on some popcorn, ooh. But you really could get creative and another thing I like to add is Old Bay seasoning. I also like to do rosemary and vegan butter, ooh, which is like kind of elevated, like a fancy popcorn. Trust me, it's a lot, lot healthier if you just make it at home and it's so easy. It's just as easy as doing a package. Another note on popcorn is I buy it in bulk, though you can't really shop in bulk right now because of COVID, but I, I do still buy it in bulk, which is pre-packaged. Anyways, put whatever you want to snack on, all your healthy snacks, make sure they're visible and on the counter. So when you go in the kitchen, right away, right in your line of sight, you see what you want to grab, the healthy, nutritious, delicious snack. That's a little tip. My other favorite snack is the Nature's Path Granola. This is like my favorite granola. I go really hard on this granola. This is the pumpkin seed plus flax granola. 
It is so good. It's got so much texture. It's nice and crunchy. The perfect crunch. I'll eat some so you can hear how crunchy it is. Oh, it's a big piece. I love it when you get a really big piece in there. Let me show you. Yeah, I love a nice big piece. It's kind of like a cookie, basically. Mmm. It's got such a nice crunch, but it also has those pumpkin seeds in there and the flax seeds. So great omega-3s in there. Fiber, of course, protein, healthy fats. So here's my little trick with this Nature's Pack. Granola. I love this one, but I also love their grain-free one. So what I do, all right, write this down. I mix them both in a bowl, okay, a little snack bowl. And then I add my chocolate chips, okay. Dark chocolate, just a few, not too many. Add all that, stir it up together, and I sit with my tea, and I enjoy it. It is so yummy. I love that. A little pop of chocolate, mmm, delicious. Mmm. I love Nature's Path products just because they are wholesome, they are organic, they're made sustainably. It's a family business, which I think is really cool. And everything is really tasty. So like, you know, I love their granolas, the grain-free ones, this one. But they also have great breakfast cereals, too. And they even have hot cereals, which are tasty, tasty, tasty. Recently, because I'm a new mom, I've been eating a lot of hot cereal, especially instant oatmeal. They have one from their Kia line, which is so bomb. Coconut and buckwheat, and it's very fragrant. I eat it whenever I'm in a hurry. It's also a really, really great snack, especially when it's cold outside. I'll just warm one of those up. It takes like 60 to 90 seconds in the microwave. I add some nuts on top, some pomegranate seeds, and have that as a nice little pick-me-up afternoon snack. Very wholesome, very nutritious, gives me energy. I feel great. Okay, so my new, new, new favorite snack is air-fried cauliflower. I love to eat tortilla chips and like crunchy, salty things but you know, they're not as healthy. So, air fried cauliflower, crispy, crunchy. You can season it however you want. I usually, my favorite I think is to do it with sea salt, some cumin seeds, curry powder, and turmeric, and smoked paprika. Crunchy. It's so good. So this is like the perfect little crunchy snack right here. You can eat it by itself or with a dip or on salads, whatever. It's so good. And crunchy. It tastes like junk food basically, but it's cauliflower. So cauliflower is great for you. It's a cruciferous vegetable. We all know that. It's got a lot of fiber. It's just one of those foods you can literally do anything with. So no wonder it is my new favorite snack. No wonder. Okay, so you guys, I talk about this all the time. Hope you're not so sick of me bringing this up, but I love chia seed pudding. I love it because I love it and it's tasty and you can like do any combination and flavors and things and it's filling. I love it for all those reasons. Omega-3 fatty acids, fiber protein, but I also love it because Baby J loves it. And what Baby J will eat, <laughs> I like. So I make a big batch and I split it up into little tiny containers and we eat that. We add fresh fruit, nuts for me, and it's just like the best snack. And sometimes early in the morning, if I'm really hungry and the fruit doesn't hit it, just, you know, doesn't hit the spot like I'm wanting it to, then I'll take one of those out of the fridge and it keeps me full for a long time. I just love my chia seed pudding. I know it was like so 2015, 16, but for me, it is right now. It is 2020. I love it. I was gonna do five, but I'm like, but I really, this, I have a sixth. The very final snack that I love, and I really do eat it every day. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make myself some right now. Can you guess? It's toast. Avocado toast, preferably. Preferably with really good sourdough bread, but I don't have any right now, so I'm doing it with Ezekiel, which is very nutritious. But I love avocado toast. It's savory, I can make it salty. I Look, I make it salty. I make everything salty and it's good for you and it keeps me full for a long time and it can even double as a lunch. I'll top it with more vegetables or mushrooms or beans or tofu scramble, whatever. I just top it and make it more filling and have that for lunch. But you usually do just have it as like an afternoon snack. 
before dinner snack. And if I don't have any ripe avocado, which believe it or not happens to me all the time, despite living in California where they are plentiful, <laughs> if I don't have ripe avocado, I'll do some almond butter, which I make, make here at home, and jam or sliced banana or dates. And usually I always add cacao nibs as well because, you know, I like my chocolate. But really toast is a great snack. It is filling, just to make sure that whatever you're putting on top of it is the wholesome food. So like avocado, almond butter, the jam that I use has no added sugar, which is really great, or fresh fruit. So yeah, make sure your toppings are good and also make sure the bread is good. It's a wholesome bread. Sourdough is great because sourdough is easy to digest, um, but also Ezekiel bread and like other whole grain breads with lots of fiber, protein, all that good stuff. Those are exceptional for your toast because they're going to fill you up longer and they are complex carbohydrates, everything that we should be eating in a snack and prioritizing in a snack. So there you have it, my friends. Those are the snacks that I eat every day and my tea and I drink a lot of water. I actually keep this water bottle with me at all times. So that's that's not a snack, but you know, it, it's kind of related. Anyway, there you have it, all the snacks that I eat. Let me know what your favorite snacks are down in the comment section below. And if you have any really unique snacks or just partially unique snacks, <laughs> throw those in the comment section too because I am curious. What are y'all snacking on? Let me know. Also, make sure you check out Nature's Path products. They are wonderful, like I said. I'm a huge fan. I hope you guys are too. If you haven't already tried them, give them a try. I will put a link down below for you to figure out where you can buy Nature's Path. So yeah, thanks to Nature's Path for sponsoring this video and thank you all for watching this video. You guys like my new set? I'm sitting right in front of my window and the sun is going down. Um, so we better wrap this up. But anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the likes button, thumbs up. All right, love you guys. Bye.